A lot of people think that Trisha Paytas went way too far when she was attacking David Dobrik, the vlog squad, Brandon Calvillo, and Jason Nash. But in this video, I wanna discuss what might potentially lead somebody to getting to that mindset and getting to the point where this happens. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I try to do here is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So you guys, like I'm gonna shamelessly plug my book, Rewire Your Anger, all day long because there's so many lessons to be learned from this situation. So if you have trouble with anger issues, and I'll remind you again at the end of this video, but if you have trouble where you let things build up to the point where you explode and then you wish you could take things back, such as deleting a YouTube video or maybe something you said to somebody, then make sure you pick up a copy of Rewire Your Anger. It's only $7.99 for the audiobook and you get the ebook with it. It'll be linked down in the description below. All right, but real quick, before I jump into it, I've had a ton, a ton of views, new subscribers, comments, and all that stuff. And as you all know, one of my things is, is that I'm not a drama channel. Tristan, as I was driving back home from leaving, uh, dropping off Dylan, I was actually thinking a funny shirt would be, not a drama channel. Simple, easy, whatever. So anyways, like, just so you guys know, like, I, I kind of I kind of think about it like this, and I know you guys love my sick analogies. I know you love my sick analogies. So any of you who are old enough to remember that movie Waterworld, do you remember how Waterworld like was way in the future and everybody's like living on the ocean? And what they did was they would urinate into this thing and then it would turn it into drinkable water, all right? That's kind of what I see that I do with drama going on in the community. I take this waste, this thing that is of no use to anybody and should just be flushed down the toilet and I try to make it into something useful. So basically what I'm trying to do is take the mess and turn it into a message, all right? So those of you trying to figure out the method to my madness, that's what I'm trying to do. Like if you just wanna go get some tea and not learn anything, there's plenty of channels out there doing it. But if you wanna look at this stuff and maybe learn something that could benefit you in your life, then you're in the right place, baby. All right, so let's get started and talk about what's going on. So so yeah, a lot of people said that Trisha Paytas went over the line when she was talking about David Dobrik and Brandon Calvillo, and then also something that I'm not gonna bring up is you know what happened when she mentioned you know Jason's wife and kids and things like that. Not gonna talk about that, other channels have done that. Um, but anyways, a lot of people thought it was misdirected anger at Jason and she took it out on these other people, right? And they say that's not fair. And like, I was talking to Tristan and the only reason I'm making one final video on this subject, unless more things come out and you know, there's something that we can learn from it, is because Tristan and I were talking and I'm like, dude, I can relate. I can relate to Trisha where I just completely explode and try to burn everything to the ground. So full disclaimer, um, I don't know Trisha. She's watched some of my videos, but I don't know the girl. But this is something that she may, might not even realize that she, she was doing, but this is just an assumption based on my own experience. But I want you guys to learn from it. Like what pushes somebody to that point? And like, there's something within a lot of us, especially if we're people pleasers or we don't like confrontation, especially with people who are uh, really close to us. Like something that I'm learning, you know, through therapy is that I don't mind, you know, having disagreements, debates, and confrontation with, you know, random people on the internet or whatever. But when it comes to like my dad, you know, it's hard for me to have a confrontational discussion with him, right? So what some of us do is what Trisha Paytas did. And although it was called, you know, some people speculate about Trisha Paytas' relationship, from what we've seen in various videos, her and Jason's relationship has not been the best. And there's evidence of this in their videos, right? And something that, <laughs> something that I'm Alex actually said in his video is, when it comes to David Dobrik, 
and the vlogs, the line starts to get blurred between what's a bit and what's reality, right? What is actually affecting people and what is staged? Do you know what I mean? And we see that that line's getting blurred with the issues that Trisha was having, you know, especially with the Tana Mojo situation and kind of like the sexually objectifying um, things that they would say to Trisha as well as the other women who are, you know, in the vlog squad community. So for me, I know in my relationships, I would let things build up and build up and build up. And there's something within our mind where we we think that it's easier to blow up and just completely sabotage everything to try to end a relationship rather than having a, a conversation with that person and saying like, hey, this isn't working out, I need to end it. Like we would rather, like I know I did this and let me know in the comments if you can relate so I know I'm not crazy. Like I would rather just completely explode and go way over the top to try to end a relationship than have that uncomfortable conversation, right? Because that's what it, it reminded me of when watching Trisha's video. It was like, I'm done with Jason. He's been doing these things to me for a long time. He doesn't stick up for me. He sides with his friends and all these other things. And like in that, mo in that moment, right? The, the justification was, you know what, I'm done, I'm done. I never want to talk to any of these people again. I'm done, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna out this person, out that person, I'm gonna expose this person, I'm gonna expose that person. And that's what how our brain justifies it. So, a little neuroscience for all of you. I know you missed my neuroscience, right? So, the brain model once again, fold your thumb over right here you have the amygdala then you have the hippocampus fold your fingers over two front fingernails prefrontal cortex all right we'll get to the prefrontal cortex in a second the amygdala this is the emotional part of the brain this is part of your limbic system this is your most primal and powerful part of the brain okay and when this thing is going ham the prefrontal cortex which is responsible for emotional regulation and logical decision making goes offline, okay? This is why we often try to justify and rationalize the things that we do out of anger. When we are when we are having issues with emotional regulation, which is a part of the prefrontal cortex, we get so angry that doing this thing sounds like a good idea, right? Like, this is why you get into arguments and maybe like if you have problems with emotional regulation, your partner like maybe they just didn't take the trash out or maybe they didn't clean this thing or maybe they bring up something with you that you don't like. And then all of a sudden you're talking about this person's mother and you know, and be like, and you stank anyways and all this other stuff, right? Like things that you would never normally say because when we are not in control of our emotions, we say a lot of things that we regret, okay? This is one of the reasons why I preach mindfulness meditation so, so, so much because it helps increase your ability to access the prefrontal cortex and decrease your amygdala and limbic system just running haywire, all right? But some of us might have done this in a job. And by the way, let me know in the comments if you can relate to this, right? Like, have you ever been at a job and rather than like putting in your two weeks, like, yo, I ain't really happy at this job, I'm just gonna put in my two weeks. Like, you just completely fly off the handle and you're just like, screw everybody here, I'm out, right? And you just do whatever, like, this is something that I did, and this is why I talk about this. Like, I got so angry at my job one time, like way back before I got sober, before I started working on my mental health, I wrote a two page long email to the owners of the company, telling where they can shove it, right? And in this email, I explained everything that they were doing wrong, because that was me just, just, just lighting a match and burning it to the ground and just saying, look, I don't want them to convince me to stay at this job, I hate it, right? So I packed all my things in a box, I sent that email and I walked right out. And as I'm driving home, I, like one of the issues is we think we won. Like one of my favorite quotes is, as in war, the victor only seems to win. So I'm driving home and I'm like texting my friends. I'm like, guess what I just did at work? I told this person off, I told that person off, I did this and I walked out of there and they're like, Chris, no you didn't bro. And I'm like, oh yes I did. And I'm driving home and I'm just feeling on top of the world, right? And Trisha Paytas might have felt on top of the world after she made that video, like, screw it. We call it a case of the efforts, all right? But anyways, I'm driving home and I feel like, you know, this badass dude. Then I get home and then reality hits me. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, like, I have bills to pay. I have a kid to feed, right? I need to pay rent in a couple days, right? So even though it seemed like I won, 
Like I really put myself in that bad situation. Does that make sense? So you guys, like this is why it makes me giggle. It makes me chuckle a little bit when people are like, oh, this guy shouldn't be talking about mental health. Like you guys, if you cannot regulate your anger and emotions, this is part of mental health. So you need to get it on lock because we do things that we regret. And now the entire world, okay, well that might be a stretch. That's why a lot of people are waiting to see what the next move is from either Trisha, Jason, David, Brandon, right? All because of Trisha just trying to distance herself because it seems, it seems like she's done with this relationship. But imagine if you can relate to Trisha and flying off the handle like this and doing something that you regret, right? Always imagine what that outcome would have been like if you could have kept it together and made some more logical decisions, all right? But anyways, if you can relate to anything I'm talking about, about dysregulation with your anger and your emotions, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know that's something you've did, done that you've regretted because it's a bell that can't be unrung, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get exclusive perks, benefits, discounts, group chats, all sorts of stuff, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.